glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-creating and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, and forever. of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for the venerable Presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, we thank you, Lord our God, for you have raised us from our beds and have put into our mouth a word of praise, that we may worship and call upon your holy name. By your mercy, which you always bestow upon our lives, we pray. Now send forth your help to those who stand before the presence of your holy glory and await your rich mercy. Grant that they may always serve you with fear and love, praising your inexpressible goodness. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. For you, O 
God, for your commandments are a light upon the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Learn justice, inhabitants of the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And jealousy will seize an untaught people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bring evils upon them, O Lord. Bring evils upon them, the glorious ones of the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Consubstantial and indivisible Trinity, unity is. And equal in eternity, with the angels we sing to you, O Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God. Through the prayers of the holy apostles, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father and the Eternal Son, and the Spirit who shares eternity with the one God, together with the angels we sing to you, O Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God, through the now and ever and forever, Amen. My God, come as a flash of lightning to lay bare the feet of everyone. At midnight we cry unto you with fear, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, our God. Through the praise of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blood at my own hands. O watch me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offense is true, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. For see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you have truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. May we hear rejoicing and gladness, that the ones you have much in From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of rivers of safety, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no life, burnt offering from me who would refuse. My sacrifice of untried spirit, of a whole untried heart you will not serve. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Watch over your world in mercy and compassion. 
Exalt the strength of true Christians and send down upon us your abundant mercies. Through the prayers of our all-pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-creating cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly and angelic powers, through the prayers of the honorable and glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy fathers, the great hierarchs and universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our holy father, Nicholas the Wonderworker, Archbishop of Myra and Nicaea, of the holy equals to the apostles and teachers of the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius, the patrons of this church, of the holy equal to the apostles, the faithful great prince Vladimir, of the holy martyr Josephot, bishop of Polots, of the blessed martyr Theodore, bishop of Mukachevo, of our blessed fathers and confessors, Paul, bishop of Brashov, and Basil, bishop of Medina, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, Anthony and Theodosius of the Monastery of the Caves, and of our other venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. We beseech you, O merciful Lord, hear the prayers of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, you have given us forgiveness through repentance, and as a model of knowledge and confession of sins, you have revealed to us the repentance of the prophet David that led to pardon. Master, have mercy on us who have fallen into so many and so great sins. Have mercy in your kindness and in your compassion, blot out our offenses. For against you have we sinned, Lord, who know the hidden depths of our hearts, and who alone have the power to forgive sins. A pure heart you have created for us. You have sustained us with the spirit of fervor and have given us the joy of your help. Do not cast us away from your presence, but in your goodness and love for all. Grant that we may offer a sacrifice of righteousness and oblation on your holy altar until our last breath. Through the mercies and goodness and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Touched the tree and tasted the fruit, the bitterness of sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
In place of the eve of former times, a spiritual eve surges up in me. It is the thought of carnal desires, recounting sensual pleasures, and unceasingly relishing the bitterness of sin. Justly was Adam dispelled from paradise for one sin, O my Savior. But what shall my punishment be? For I have unceasingly rejected your life-giving word. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have followed in the footsteps of Cain. I have chosen to become a murderer, for I have led my poor soul to death by living according to the flesh in the wickedness of my deeds. O Jesus, how is it that I could not follow the path of the just Abel, that I could not present to you pure offerings, holy deeds, and an unblemished sacrifice by the purity of my life? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like Cain, we offer to the Creator of the universe our evil deeds, blemished sacrifices, and our worthless life. Therefore we shall be condemned. You have formed me from clay, O Creator, and you have given me flesh and bones, breath and life. You have created me, O Lord. Now lead me back to you, O my Judge and my Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I confess the sins I have committed before you, O Savior. You see the wounds of my soul and my flesh, for I have fallen beneath the blows of the enemy, which rob me of my power to think. Despite my faults, O Savior, I truly know that you are the lover of us all. You chastise those whom you love, and generous is your mercy. You behold my tears, and you hasten to meet me, your prodigal. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I stand before your gate, O Savior, do not reject me. In my old age, do not cast me into Hades. But before the end, O Lord, grant me the forgiveness of my sins. I am the traveler who has fallen into the thievery of my thoughts. Completely wounded, I am covered with bruises. Come to save me, O Christ, and heal me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A priest sees me but continues on his way. A Levite notices my grief and scorns my nudity. But you, O Jesus, who come from Mary, you bring me help. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, lighten my burden and free me from the yoke of my sins. In your love, grant me the forgiveness of my sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not reject me far from your face, O my Savior, but take upon yourself the heavy burden of my transgressions. In your mercy, grant me the forgiveness of my sins. Forgive and wipe away all the sins I have committed, O Savior, voluntarily or involuntarily, by day or by night, known and unknown. Forgive me, O God, and save me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. From my youth I have scorned your commandments, O my Savior. I have spent my life in carelessness and in the laziness of passions. Therefore I cry to you, O my Savior, before the end, save me. I have foolishly wasted the riches of my soul in luxurious living, deprived of everything and starved of virtue. I cry to you, O Father, all good, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I bow before you, O Jesus, I have sinned against you. Forgive, forgive me, and drive far from me the burden of my sins. In your goodness, grant me the tears of repentance. Do not bring me into judgment, recalling all that I should have done, examining my deeds and correcting my wrongs. In your mercy, overlook my transgressions, and save me, O God Almighty. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Since you have a special place with God, give me the light of grace from on high to enlighten the darkness of my passions, 
that in joy I may praise, O Mary, your holy life and your wondrous virtue. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Submitting yourself to the divine precepts you have followed Christ, wisely you have overcome the power of your passions, and more than all, you live the life of virtue. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. By your prayers, O Holy Andrew, keep us from our passions. Make us worthy, we pray you, to share in the kingdom of Christ. Filled with faith and love, we praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Trinity, I bow before your unique majesty. Lift from my shoulders the heavy burden brought about by the yoke of my sins. In your goodness, grant me the tears of compunction. Now and ever and forever. Amen. O Theotokos, the hope and protection of those who praise you, Lift off the weight, the burden of my sins. Accept me, O most holy lady, for I am transformed by repentance. Henceforth I am naked and filled with shame. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The workers of iniquity have plowed upon my back, and they have made their long furrows of sin upon me. Through my sin I have lost the view, my beauty and my original dignity. I am ashamed of my nudity. Sin has clothed me in a robe of skin, since I have deprived, been deprived of the garment formerly, formerly given to me by God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am covered with shame as with fig leaves, thus proving that the passions rule me. My garment is defiled, shamefully stained by my blood, of my life given over to pleasures. I, was, I have dragged the tunic of my flesh in the mire, disfiguring your image and likeness, O my Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The passions have ruled me and corrupted me, therefore the enemy now oppresses me. Instead of poverty, I preferred the riches and pleasures of life, and now, my Savior, I am bent beneath the weight of sin. I have adorned the idol of my flesh with the gaudy robe of my impure thoughts, and now I am condemned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Be, attent be attentive only to outer beauty, I have neglected the inner temple fashioned by God. Concealing the ugliness of my passions and my thirst for pleasure, I have tarnished the beauty of my soul. By my, by my passions of Savior, I have lost the beauty of your image, 
but you have sought and found it as you once did to the lost coin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I cried out, I cried out to you as did the sinful woman. I have sinned against you alone, have I sinned? Accept my tears, O God, my Savior, as you once accepted birth. Like David, I have fallen into the abyss, where I am covered with mire. Blood cleanse me with my tears, as you once did, O my Savior. I cry out to you, as did the publican, forgive me, O Savior, for no descendant of Adam has sinned as I says sin as I have said. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have neither compunction nor tears of repentance. Grant peace to me, O my Savior and my God. O Lord, Lord, do not close the door to me this on that day, but deign to open for me the gate of repentance. O Lord and lover of mankind, who desires the salvation of all, in your goodness, call me back and receive me in repentance. Give ear to my sighs and to the murmurs of my heart. Accept the tears of my eyes and save me, O God, my Savior. Most holy day, O Togo, save us. O Virgin Theotokos, you are most pure alone, worthy of our songs. Intercede unceasingly that we may be saved. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Behold and see, I am your God. Listen to the Lord, O my soul. Separate yourself from your form perversion. In the fear of your God, who shall come to judge you? To whom shall we compare you, O poor soul? To Cain, the first murderer, or to Alamek? For you have stoned your body and slain your spirit by your, mis by your misdeeds and the fervor of your sin. O my soul, if you are compared to all those before the law, you have surely not imitated those who turn their life around. Such as Seth, Enos, Enoch, and Noah. No, you have followed the righteousness of their. You have not followed the righteousness of their line. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. You alone have opened the windows of the wrath of God, as in the time of the flood. You have submerged your flesh in the works of your life, and you have not entered the ark into the ark of salvation. I have killed a man for a wound, a child for a bruise, said Lamech amid his tears. And you, O oh my soul, you do not tremble before having despoiled your flesh and defiled your spirit. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. How have I imitated Lamech the murderer by killing my spirit as a man and my soul as a child? Like Cain the murderer, I have killed my, my brother the body in the fervor of my passions. Through your desires, O my soul, you have sought to build a tower and to establish a fortified city. But the Creator has upset these plans, and he has overturned your projects. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Behold, I am wounded and injured. The arrows of the enemy have pierced my soul and body. My bruises have become my bruises and the inflammation of my sores. Bear witness to the violence of my passions. In the days of old, the Lord of heaven rained down fire upon Sodom, which was inflamed with evil desires. And you, O my soul, are fanning the flames of Gehenna, into whose fires you shall descend. Behold and understand, I am your God, who searches hearts and corrects thoughts, who lays open who lays open deeds and burns away sins, who renders justice to orphans, the weak and the little ones. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Having sunk into the pit of temptation, you stretched out your hands, O Mary, toward the mercy of God, as did Peter, the lover of humankind, reached out his helping hand, for it was your conversion that he sought above all. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The burning heart you have hastened to follow Christ, leaving your former way of sin, to now live in the solitude of the desert, observing his divine commandments with a pure heart. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. Let us behold and contemplate the love of the divine Master for us. Before the end, let us bow before him and let us cry out in tears. 
to the prayers of our Holy Father, Andrew, our Savior, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal Trinity, indivisible unity, accept me in repentance and save me a sinner. Do not despise the work of your hands. Protect me and deliver me from the fires of judgment. Now and ever and forever. Amen. O Holy Lady, Mother of God, hope of those who hasten to you, harbor to save us, harbor who saves us from the wrath of the waters, implore your Creator and your Son to spare us through your intercession. fire upon the land of Sodom. Seek safety on the mountain, O my soul, as once did Lot, who took refuge in Zoar. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Flee the flaming sword, O my soul, flee the fire of Sodom, flee the affliction of divine flames. I confess to you, O my Savior, that I have sinned without measure against you, but in your goodness, wipe out my sin. Uh, have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Against you have I sinned, more than all have I, have I fallen. O oh Christ our Savior, have mercy on me. You are truly the Good Shepherd. Come in search of me, O oh Lord. Do not despair your lost sheep. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. O oh Jesus, you are the sweetness of my life. You have created me. In you, O oh Savior, I shall be justified. O oh Holy Trinity, O oh God, have mercy on us. O oh one divine Trinity, save us from strain from temptations and from all danger. Most holy Theotogo, save us. Rejoice, O womb that bore God. Rejoice, O throne of the Lord. Rejoice, O mother of our life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For me, you are the fountain of life and the one who conquered death. And all my heart I cry out before you. At the end, I have sinned. Forgive me and save me. I have followed the example of those who lived in the time of Noah, and I deserve the same punishment in the flood that engulfed them. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. I have sinned against you, O Lord. Forgive me, for I have sinned. There is no sinner whom I have not surpassed in my sins. O my soul, you have imitated the filial disrespect of Ham, for you have not covered the shame of your neighbor, walking backwards so as not to see. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have not received the blessing of Shem, O my poor soul. You have not inherited the vast domain of Jephthah, in the land of forgiveness, departing from Ham, Haran, O oh my soul, leave behind the land of sin, for the land which flows with immortality, which Abraham received as an inheritance. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. You have heard, O oh my soul, of it, how Abraham left the land of his ancestors, and became a stranger upon the earth, imitate his example and his resolve. Beneath the yoke of Mamre, the patriarch showed hospitality to the angels, and despite his advanced age, he received the fulfillment of the promise of God. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. O oh my soul, you know, 
the new sacrifice of Isaac, the spiritual holocaust offered to the Lord, seek to imitate his resolve. You have heard, O my soul, how Ishmael, the child of slavery, was chased away. Keep watch so as not to become a servant of the passions, that you do not incur the same banishment. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have imitated the mother of Ishmael, Hagar, the Egyptian of old. For you have made yourself a slave of your desires, and have boasted about what you conceive. You know, O my soul, about the ladder of Jacob, which reached from earth to heaven. Why then have you not ascended the rungs of piety? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Seek to imitate the life of Melchizedek, the priest of God, and the king of no genealogy. What a splendid image of Christ. Do not become a pillar of salt by turning around to see what is behind you. Fear the example of Sodom and be saved by ascending to Zohar. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like Lot, O my soul, flee from the flames of sin. Far from Sodom and Gomorrah, flee from the fire of your evil inclinations. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Such shall be my cry when you come to your holy angels to judge each of us according to our deeds. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Master, do not reject the prayer of those who sing to you, but spare them in your goodness, granting to the faithful the forgiveness of their sins. Have Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. I am assaulted by the storm of my sins. Come to my aid, O Mother, and guide me to the harbor, the way that leads to God. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Offer your prayer of intercession, O Venerable Mother, to the tenderness of the Most Pure Virgin, thus opening for me the door that leads to God. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. Through your prayers, grant me the forgiveness of my sins, O Holy Andrew, Bishop of Crete, for you are indeed the best guide to repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity, all worthy of our praise, one God in three persons, save us who in faith bow before your majesty. Now and ever and forever. Amen. O marvelous wonder, without seed, the Virgin and Mother of God has conceived the Son of the Eternal Father, and you have given birth to him in time. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Hallelujah. For you are our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Yeah. 
Do not despise the work of your hands, nor scorn the work of your creation, O just judge. Even though I alone have sinned more than all, O most merciful God, for you are the God of the universe, and it is you who forgives sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The end is near, O my soul, it approaches, and you neglect to prepare yourself. The time is at hand, arise, for the judge is at the door. Our life disappears like a dream or a flower, and we toil in vain. Awake, O oh my soul, and think about what you have done in your life. Let your tears flow as you meditate upon your past. Confess your deeds and secret thoughts to Christ, and you shall be justified. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. O oh, Savior, there is nothing in this life that I have not done, no sin nor evil deed that I have not committed in word or intention, deliberately in thoughts or in deeds, more than any other at any time. For this I am condemned, for this I am also judged by my own conscience, which has no equal in this world. You probe me and you know me, O oh, Redeemer. Spare me and save me, your servant. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The ladder that the patriarch Jacob once contemplated is the ascetical effort, the mystical ascent. O oh, my soul, if you wish to understand these two, renew yourself and be made new. To gain his two wives, the patriarch endured the heat of the day and the freezing of night, in labor and in combat, cunningly increasing his flock day by day. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. The two wives are action and contemplation. Leah is action because she had many children. Rachel is knowledge which is gained only with toil. And we gain the fruit of both of these only with struggle. Be watchful, O my soul, and strive as did Jacob, so that you may not be only filled with action, but that you may also gain knowledge and the vision of God and radiant contemplation, that pearl of great price. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Jacob was the father of the twelve patriarchs, and thus he provided a mystical ladder of ascent, setting up his sons as so many steps, that the most wise might rise up. Imitating that miserable Esau, O oh my soul, you have sold the birthright of your original beauty to the deceiver, and thus you have been deprived of the paternal blessing. Henceforth do penance. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Esau was called Edom because of his raging passions. Burning with lust and stained with pleasure, he was called Edom, which means the blazing of a soul that is smitten with sin. From Job you have learned submission, O my soul, with which he sat upon the ash heap and was justified, but you have not imitated his courage and steadfastness. Perseverance is still lacking in you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Behold, he now sits naked upon the dung heap, he who not long ago was seated upon a throne. This illustrious father of yesteryear now has no home nor children. The ash heap is his palace, and his sores take the place of precious jewels. Not long ago he was clothed with royal garments, wearing the purple and the diadem. The just man had much wealth and countless flocks. But suddenly he is deprived of all his splendor. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. When a just person such as Job, who is totally beyond reproach, cannot hold off the attacks of the evil one, what shall you do, O oh my soul, when misfortune falls upon you? My body and my spirit are stained and corrupted. O Christ, the physician of souls, heal my wounds, wash me through repentance, 
Purify me and make me whiter than snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You offered your body and your blood upon the cross for the salvation of all, O Word. Your body to recreate me and your blood to cleanse me. You handed over your spirit, O Christ, to bring me to the Father. You worked salvation in the middle of the earth to save us, O Lord. You ascended the cross to open paradise for us, all creation and the nations who are redeemed. Now bow before you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. May the blood and water flowing from your side be both a baptism and a redeeming drink for me, so that doubly purified I may draw your life-giving word from both your chalice and your anointing. I have been ba banished from the bridal chamber, far from the wedding of the Lamb. My lamp has no more oil and the doors are closed. The banquet has been eaten, and I am thrown outside, hands and feet tied. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. From your life-giving side, O oh Savior, the Church has inherited a chalice, which flows with a double stream of knowledge and forgiveness. In the image of the one who unites both testaments, the old and the new, my life is short, filled with evil and grief. Accept me in repentance, and call me into your light, that I may not become a prize for the enemy. Have mercy on me, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My heart is filled with vanity. Do not condemn me, Pharisee that I am. But grant me the humility of the publican, and count me with him through your goodness and just judgment. I have sinned and defiled the temple of my body. Now accept me in repentance, and call me into your light, that I may not become a prize for the enemy. Have mercy on me, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have become my own idol, defiling my soul through the passions. Now accept me in repentance, and call me into your light, that I may not become a prize for the enemy. Have mercy on me, O Savior. Instead of listening to your voice, I have transgressed your law. Now accept me in repentance, and call me into your light, that I may not become a prize for the enemy. Have mercy on me, O Savior. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Live the angelic life in the flesh, O Holy Mary. You have received the greatest grace from God. Thus you can intercede for the faithful who honor you. And now we implore you, through your prayers, deliver us from all temptation. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Light by your works, you were raised up to the heights of virtue, thus inspiring the admiration of the angels. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. You are the glory of the fathers and the adornment of three, O Holy Andrew. Do not forget to intercede with the Holy Trinity for the deliverance from eternal punishment of those who call upon you for aid. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I confess the Holy Trinity is God, three persons sharing the same royal throne, indivisible in essence and beyond confusion. My voice resounds with the triple hymn of the angels. Now and ever and forever, amen. You have given birth, O Virgin, and you still remain a virgin. For your virginal womb brought forth the one who renewed the laws of nature in himself. For God has willed it so. From by the night I seek you worthy
my life has slipped away the night and darkness deep chaos and the dark night of sin enlighten me O Savior that I may become a child of light woe is me for I become like Reuben I have sinned and given great offense to the Most High by transgressing his paternal law have mercy on me O God have mercy on me I confess to you, O Christ, my King, that I have sinned. I have sinned as did the brothers of Joseph, who once sold the offspring of wisdom and purity. The life of the just Joseph was sold by his own brothers, and the gentle young man was brought down to slavery as a figure of the Lord. And you, O my soul, have sold yourself into sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Follow the footsteps of Joseph, O my poor soul and miserable soul. Imitate the justice and purity of his heart, instead of giving yourself over to the enjoyment of passions, which keep you far from God. When Joseph was thrown into the pit of sovereign master, it was a foreshadowing of your burial and your holy resurrection. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You know the story of Moses, O my soul, how he drifted in his cradle as in an ark of salvation, thus escaping the bitter execution of Pharaoh's plan. The midwives were supposed to kill every male offspring of wisdom. You know this, O my soul, and now, like Moses, be nursed on the milk of wisdom. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have not struck the spiritual Egyptian, O my soul, as did the great Moses. How will you be able, through repentance, to dwell in the desert of passions? Moses dwelt in the desert. Follow the path of his life, O my soul, that you may also contemplate the burning bush of the divine apparition. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Picture for yourself, O my soul, the rod of Moses striking the sea and holding back the wall of water. It is the image of the Holy Cross, by which you also shall work wonders. Aaron offered God a pure and unadulterated fire, but like you, O my soul, Hophni and Phineas brought the impurity of their lives. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My heart is hardened like that of Pharaoh. I've become like Jonas and John Brace in my soul and body, in the heaviness of my spirit. O Lord, come to my assistance. Alas, I am seeking into the mire. Wash me, O my master, in the bath of my tears. Make the garment of my flesh whiter than snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When I scrutinize my deeds, O Savior, I see that I am burdened with sin more than any other. For I have sinned willfully and not through ignorance. Spare the work of your hands, O Lord. Forgive me, for I have sinned. You alone are all pure by nature. You alone are without sin. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. You covet your divinity with the robe of my humanity to save me. You worked wonders by healing the lepers, raising up paralyzed people, and stopping the flow of blood by the hem of your garment. Follow the example of the woman with the flow of blood, O my soul. Draw near and touch the garment of Christ, who will deliver you and say to you, Take courage, your faith has saved you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitating the woman who was stooped over, O my soul, draw near and bow before the feet of Jesus, that he may raise you up, and that you may walk uprightly in the way of the Lord. The well is deep, O Lord, but you draw from your bosom the living water, which I drink as did the Samaritan woman. Thus I will no longer thirst, for you refresh me with the waters of your life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. May my tears become another pool of Siloam for me, O Lord God, that I may wash the eyes of my heart there and contemplate your eternal brightness. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Impelled by an unparalleled love, you wish to prostrate yourself before the tree of life, and your desire was granted. Now make me worthy of the glory from on high. Holy Mother Mary, 
pray to God for us. Having crossed the Jordan River, you found repose, escaping the yoke of carnal desires. Deliver us also, Mary, through your holy prayer. Holy Father, Andrew, pray to God for us. I call upon you with all my heart, O Holy Andrew, wise pastor and chosen one of God, and in fear I beseech you through your intercession. May I obtain salvation and eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify you as one God, O thrice Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, consubstantial divinity, and we unceasingly adore you. Now and ever and forever, Amen. From you, a most pure Virgin and Holy Mother of God, the divine creator of the ages becomes flesh to unite himself intimately to our mortal nature. With my whole heart, I cry to Forgive me. You have separated yourself from your Lord of my soul, as did Dathan and Abiram. But cry out to him with all your heart, spare me, O Lord, and may the earth not open and swallow me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You are like Ephraim, the raging heifer, and like a gazelle broken free from its reins. Save yourself upon the wings of action and contemplation. May the hands of Moses, O my soul, confirm for you how God can purify the leprosy of our life and make it white as snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like the waters of the Red Sea, the ocean of my sins has totally engulfed me, as with the Egyptians in days of old. Like ancient Israel, O my soul, you have made a foolish choice. Instead of the manna of heaven, you preferred the food of the passions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like Israel in the desert, O my soul, you have preferred the impure flesh pots of Egypt instead of the food of heaven. O my soul, you have preferred the wells of Canaan to the rock, the fountain which gushes forth for you with the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When Moses, your servant, struck the rock with his staff, he prefigured your life-giving side, from which we draw life and salvation. Explore, O my soul, the promised land. Look over your inheritance, as did Joshua and rise and dwell in it by keeping the precepts of the law. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Rise up to do battle with the passions of the flesh, as Joshua once did against Amalek. Do not let yourself be deceived by, our, by your thoughts, as did the Gibeonites. Pass through the stream of life, as once did the Ark of the Covenant. O my soul, take possession of the promise of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As you once saved Peter on the waters, O Savior, hasten to save me. Stretch out your hand to me and save me from the abyss of sin. In you I find the harbor of salvation, O Master and Lord Jesus. Draw me up from the bottomless pit of hopelessness and sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am the drachma bearing the image of the King, which you once lost, O Savior. Now light your lamp, the forerunner, to find me and refashion your image. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. To extinguish the flaming sword of your passions, O Mary, you made the streams of your tears flow abundantly. 
Grant that I may also share equally in this faith. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. By your sublime life in this world, O Mary, you have gained heavenly repose. Beseech the Lord to deliver from their passions those who sing to you in praise. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. You were the bishop and shepherd of Crete, and now you are an intercessor for the whole world. I come to you also, O Holy Father. Draw me up from the abyss of sin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am the indivisible Trinity, one in nature, says the Father, together with the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Your womb is brought into the world for us, a God who has conformed to our humanity. O Theotokos, beseech the Creator of the world, that through your prayers we may be saved. With my whole heart, I write to the compassion of God, and he heard me from the holy steps of hell, and from my life of a corruption. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. on us and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. And elevating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. peace and the Savior of our souls, and we give thanks to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. My soul, my soul, arise, why are you sleeping? The end is drawing near, and my world become bound. salvation flowing from Adam, the devil was struck with grief. In face of this threat, he sighed and said to his companions, What shall I do with the son of Mary? For he is going to put me to death, the one who was born in Bethlehem. And he is everywhere present and fills all things. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst. 
thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. The rock and the flower sacred as God gives in his fire, and to be his army, together with them the righteous devil. Merciful, for they will be shown mercy. O oh, my soul, you know the courage of hell. For spirit of salvation of Israel, by piercing my head on Cicera, she slew the enemy with a wooden stick. Wait for a child, O Lord God. Blessed are the Queen of Heart, for they shall. See God, oh, my soul, of rest, sacrifice of praise, by consecrating your life to purity, and to the daughter of Tela, offer to the Lord your carnal desires, not to the man who obeys God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You have brought upon yourself, O oh my soul, but the judgment of the priest be thine, by giving free reign to your passions, by your lack of steadfastness, like the priest of Shiloh, you have closed your eyes. Insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. I pray. 
praise the Holy Spirit, which shines with the same brightness as the Father and the Son, now and ever and forever. Amen. We venerate the supernatural good of your womb, without the unity of glory of your Son. For we confess the oneness of his person, and the duality of his natures. We have sinned, we have transgressed, we have done evil in your sight, we have I have sinned, I have transgressed, and I have scorned your commandments. For I was born in sin, and I have added to my wounds. But in your goodness spare me, O Lord, God of our fathers. I confess the secrets of my heart to you, O my judge. Behold my grief and my humiliation. Be attentive to my judgment. And in your goodness spare me, O Lord, God of our fathers. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having gone in search of the asses of his father, Saul found in addition his royal vocation. And you, O my soul, keep watch that you do not prefer the flock of your passions to the kingdom of Christ. David, the ancestor of the Lord, once sinned doubly by being pierced with the arrow of desire and then by the spear of murder. And you, O my soul, bear even more the weight of your passion. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. David once multiplied the gravity of his sin, adding murder to adultery, but he immediately showed a double repentance, and you, O my soul, have done even worse without repenting before God. David once wrote a hymn as the icon of his repentance, publicly revealing his deeds by saying, Have mercy on me, O God of the universe, against you alone have I sinned, in your goodness purify me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When the Ark of the Covenant was being carried on a chariot, and the oxen began to slip, Uzzah placed his hand upon the Holy Ark, and for this single gesture he incurred the wrath of God. Do not imitate his boldness, O my soul, but treat the holy things with respect. You know the story of Absalom and his rebellion against nature, and you know his abominations, even the defiling of his father's bed. And yet you imitate, O my soul, his desires and his drives for pleasure. You have enslaved your dignity and your freedom to your body, and you have found in the enemy another Ahithophel, for you have followed his counsels. But Christ has destroyed them in order to save you. Filled with grace and knowledge, the wondrous Solomon once distanced himself from God by doing evil in his sight. And you, O my soul, have modeled yourself after him through your accursed life. Swept away by pleasure, he was debased by his passions. The lover of wisdom now courts debauchery, and he distances himself from God. And you have followed his path in the shame of your passions. Imitating Rehoboam, who disregarded his father's advice, you have also followed the ancient apostasy of Jeroboam, that evil servant. Imitate them no more, but cry out to the Lord, Have mercy on me, a sinner. Through your impurity you have followed the path of Ahab, you have become a receptacle for the defilements of the flesh, and a vile base of shameful passions. Now sigh deeply from the bottom of your heart, as you confess your sins to the Lord. Mercy on me. 
Twice Elijah struck down fifty men of Ahaziah after having destroyed the prophets of Jezebel to confound Ahab. Do not imitate them, but cry out to the Lord, Have mercy on me, a sinner. Heaven is closed to you, and the famine sent by God seizes you. And you, another Ahab, have not come to faith through the warnings of Elijah the Tishbite. Rather imitate the widow of Zarephath by welcoming the messengers of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have willingly piled up the transgressions of Manasseh, O oh my soul, by setting up your passions upon the altar of abomination, thus multiplying the deeds that displease the Lord. Therefore imitate his conversion by gaining compunction. I bow before you and I offer my tearful confession to you. More than the sinful woman have I fallen, more than any other person have I sinned. But have mercy on your creature, O Lord, and call me back to your fold. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have tarnished the image of your splendor, and I have transgressed the law. My beauty is disfigured by the breath of my passions. My lamp no longer burns. But give me joy along with your grace, O Lord, as David sings. Repent and turn back to the Lord. We bear your secret thoughts to him. And say to God who reads our hearts, You alone, O Lord, know my secrets. But as David says, Have mercy on me, O Lord, in your goodness. My days have vanished as someone wakening from a dream. Therefore I cry, as did Hezekiah, that the years of my my life may be prolonged, but what other Isaiah will come to assist you, O my soul, if not the God most high? Holy Mother Mary, praise to God for us. Having sought the help of the Holy Mother of God, you turned back the violence of passions, and you covered over the tricks of the enemy. Give help to me in time of affliction, for I am your servant. Holy Mother Mary, praise to God for us. So desired, whose paths you have followed, has led you and preserved you on the way of repentance. Implore this compassionate God unceasingly, that he deliver us from our passions and save us from all danger. Holy Father, answer, pray to God for us. Strengthen my heart on the rock of faith, O Holy Father, and circle me with the fear of God, O Holy Andrew. Grant me the grace of repentance, I beseech you, and save me from the enemy who wishes to seize me. Be in his net. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O unique and undivided Trinity, consubstantial unity, light with three rays, one fountain of triple holiness, I praise and glorify you, giver of life and the God of all. Now and ever and forever. Amen. We praise you, we bless you, and we bow before you, O Mother of God, for you have given birth to one of the Holy Trinity, your Son and your God, opening for us heaven on earth. The host of heaven, give him glory before the temple to be answer of him. Let everything that has my soul to conversion, accept my repentance, and spare me when I cry. Against you only have I sinned, and have mercy on me. Riding in a chariot of fire, Elijah was carried aloft on the wings of virtue. From earth to heaven, O my soul, I may take his ascent. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Elisha once, once received the mantle of Elijah and obtained a double grace from the Lord. But, O oh, my poor soul, you are far from this grace. On the course of the Jordan was completely stopped by Elisha when he struck it with the mantle of Elijah. But you, O oh, my poor soul, you are far from this grace. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. In her goodness, the 
true when I woman offered hospitality to the just man, but you, O my soul, have not welcomed the stranger or the pilgrim. Therefore you shall be far from the chamber of the bridegroom. O my poor soul, you have imitated the vileness of Gehazi. In your waiting days, give up your greed, that you may have like Gehenna which you deserve. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have become a follower of Uzziah, and therefore you received a double portion of his leprosy upon your forehead. For you contemplate and for me, and you practice iniquity, renounce evil, and reform your thoughts. You know that the Ninevites repented before God with sackcloth and ashes, but you have not imitated their noble conversion. Rather, you go beyond all others in sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Jeremiah once sighed and lamented in the mud, <coughs> pouring out his tears over the city of Zion. Imitate his tears and you shall be saved. Foreseeing the conversion of the Ninevites, Jonah once fled towards Tarshish, for he knew in advance the tenderness of God, who is always ready to withdraw his judgment. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In the pit, Daniel closed the jaws of lions, and by their faith, the three youths extinguished the fire of the flaming furnace of the Chaldeans. I have brought before you, O my soul, all the models of the Old Testament. Imitate the deeds of the just friends of God, and turn away from the example of the wicked. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O just judge and my Savior, have mercy on me, and save me from the fiery punishment, which I shall endure because of a just judgment, before the end change me through repentance. As the good thief I cry, O Lord, save me, I weep bitterly as did Peter, like the publican I cry, forgive me, and as the sinful woman of Canaanite I say, O Lord, accept my tears. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You, my wounded soul, O Savior, O only physician, apply the wine and oil, the fruits of repentance, along with tears and compunction. As the Canaanite woman, I cry to you, have mercy on me, son of David. As the woman with the flow of blood, I touch her garment, and I weep as did Martha and Mary over Lazarus. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I pour out upon your head, O my Savior, the alabaster jar of the myrrh of my tears, as did the sinful woman long ago. I implore your mercy, hear my prayer, and grant me your forgiveness. Even though no one has offended your goodness as I have, O my Savior, still accept my repentance, along with my cry of love and respect. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Bear the work of your hands, O Savior, O Good Shepherd. Go in the search of your lost sheep. Preserve me from the ravishing wolf, and make me a sheep of your flock. When you shall be seated in judgment, O Christ, and when you shall be resplendent in glory, O oh, what a frightful moment that shall be, when the flaming furnace blazes, and every person shall tremble before your awesome judgment seat. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Illumined by the mother of the unsetting light, you escaped the darkness of passions, having received the grace of the Spirit in you. Enlighten, O Mary, the faithful who sing to you. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The Holy Zossi was struck with wonder at the sight of this new miracle, for you became a Mary, an angel in the flesh. And then with amazement he glorified Christ forever. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. O Holy Andrew, I beseech you, so you can speak boldly before the Lord, by your prayers for me from sin, that I may praise your glory among the saints. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord. O Father of God, the Word, O Eternal Son, and the Word of the Timeless God, Comfort your spirit and giver of life, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Now and ever and forever, Amen. Emmanuel was clothed 
the number of love your blood, and therefore we truly honor your divine maternity, O most pure virgin. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and highly exalting him above all forever. My soul is 
Lord, be that my body is sickly, my spirit is weak, my thoughts have no strength. The end is near, and my life fades away. What shall I do, O my poor soul, when the judge shall come to reveal your secret deeds? In heaven, place before you, O my soul, the writings of Moses concerning the beginning of the world, along with his exhortations, and, and the story of the just and the wicked. Uh, you have imitated these latter and not the former. For you have sinned unceasingly before God, O oh my soul. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. The law has no voice, the gospel no fruit. You have no care for the whole of Scripture. The prophets have no power, nor the words of the just ones. Your wounds, O oh my soul, have mercy. For you have no physician to give you. I offer you the examples of the New Testament. Call you to the function of my soul, be inspired by the just ones, turn away from sinners, and stir up the grace of Christ by fasting and prayer and the purity of your life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ has become a little child, he was unified to my flesh to voluntarily fulfill the entire human condition except for sin. He shows you, O my soul, the example of the image of condescension beyond description. Christ has become incarnate, following the thieves and harmless repentance. Repent, O my soul, for the gates of the kingdom open, and the Pharisees public and repentant sinners. Go ahead, O lost. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ has saved the wise men and gathered the shepherds. He called the innocent children to martyrdom. In the temple, he glorified the elder and the widow in her latter years. O oh, my soul, you have not imitated the deeds of their lives. Woe to me, for you must undergo judgment. Having fasted forty days in the desert, the Lord showed his humility by being hungry. Therefore, do not be discouraged, O oh, my soul, by the assaults of the enemy. You have trampled them underfoot through fasting and prayer. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ, your temptation for the devil tested him. He showed him so as to be turned into bread. He led him on the mountain to show him all the kingdoms of the world. Look with dread upon this sight of my soul. Be vigilant and pray to the Lord at all times. The dove that dwelt in the wilderness, the voice of one crying in the desert. He is the torch, the, the, the forerunner of Christ. He preached repentance. Harold and Herodias pre preached against God. And you, O oh my soul, have watched that you do not fall into the net of the wicked, rather return to the Lord. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. The precursor of the grace of God lived in the desert. Judah and Samaria ran to her, ran to her in his voice. Confessing their sins, they received baptism and joy. You alone, O my soul, have not imitated their conversion. Marriage is an honorable estate, and the nuptial bed is without reproach, for Christ has blessed them. When he went to the wedding and came and clothed in our flesh, and changed the water into wine, this is the first of the miracles he performed to transform you, O oh my soul. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Christ made the paralyzed man walk straight again, and he carried his hand, he raised the dead, the son of the widow, and the servant of the centurion. Then he revealed himself to the Samaritan woman, and through her, O oh my soul, he taught you to worship in spirit. With the hem of his garment, Christ healed the woman with the flow of blood. He cleansed those with leprosy. He gave life to those who were blind and strength to those who were feeble. And by his word, he cured those who were deaf mute, along with the woman who was bent over. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. Those who are sick are not healed. And the gospel is preached to those who are poor by Christ the Word of God, who heals all infirmities. He eats at the table of the publicans and mingles with sinners. And taking the daughter of Jairus by the hand, he 
who calls back the breath of life into her body, the public and found salvation, and the sinful woman who gave chastity, by the haughty Pharisee underwent condemnation, for the one said, Forgive me, and the second had mercy on me, but the third boasted, I gave you thanks, O my God, along with other idol words. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Zacchaeus was a publican, but still gained salvation. Simeon, the Pharisee, grumbled at his disappointment. When the sinful woman received deliverance and forgiveness, the one who has the power to forgive sins on my soul, hasten also to receive your forgiveness. You have not imitated on my soul the repentance of the sinful woman. Taking the face of her and mixing it with her tears, she poured it over the feet of the Lord, and with her hair, she wiped away the record of her sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O oh, my soul, you know of the great misfortune that befell be the cities, where Christ brought the good news of salvation. Do not imitate their example, that you may avoid the dis destiny. Like them to Sodom, the master condemned them to Hades. Do not despair, O my soul. Do not let yourself be surpassed by the Canaanite woman. For you know her great faith, and the way of the Lord healed her child by his all powerful word. Cry out to the depths of, of your heart, Jesus Christ. Save me, O Son of David. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In your mercy, save me, have mercy on me, O Son of David. By your word, you have those possessed by demons. Lend, your, lend me your ear, your gentle voice, as once did the good thief. Truly, I say to you, you shall be with me in paradise. One thief reviled your father cross, the other confessed your divinity. For both were sharing the same suffering. O Lord of all goodness, open to me the doors of your glorious kingdom. As you did for the good thief who recognized you as God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. See you upon the cross, O Lord, raise you were seized with fear. Mountains and rocks split in terror, and the earth trembles, and Hades gave up its blunder. The light of day was changed into darkness when it saw you crucified, O Jesus. Do not demand worthy fruits of repentance. For my strength, strength is spent, but also grant me contrition of heart and the spirit of poverty, that I may offer these to you, O my Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my judge, you broke me and you knew me. You know when you shall come again with your holy angels to judge the whole world. Look upon my kindness and save me. Spare me, O Jesus, even though I am filled with sin. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. All the angels of heaven and people on earth are struck with admiration at your sublime life. For you surpass the human condition. You cross the Jordan, gliding over the waters of Mary. As an angel in the flesh and pure spirit. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Touch the heart of the Creator on behalf of those who praise your name, O Holy Mary, that delivered from the sufferings and dangers that surround us, and free from temptation, we may always extol the Lord who glorifies you. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. who unceasingly on your memory be delivered from every evil thought, from affliction and from sin. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. In the substantial trinity, we praise the unity of your persons, glorify the Father, soul of the Son, and bow it before the Spirit, truly one God, one triple life and eternal kingdom. From now and ever and forever, Of the enemy and over all temptations. 
ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O oh, God, our God, who have placed all spiritual and intellectual powers under your will, we pray and beg you accept these hymns of praise which we offer to you according to our ability, together with all your creatures. And give us in exchange the riches of your goodness, for before you all beings in the heavens are on earth, and under the earth bend their knees, and everything that lives or that breathes gives praise to your glory beyond reach, for you are the one true God, full of mercy. For all the heavenly powers praise you, and we give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Children, let us praise the name of the Lord, for your glory is exalted. The 
splendor of his name, reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his things. Of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Sing the song of the Lord. His praise in the assembly of all faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and heart. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hands. To the Lord entrance to the nations, and bless it to all of you. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out his sentence for your name, his honor is for all his faithful. Praise God in his holy place, praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds, praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet, praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to it, the Lord. To you is due glory, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you who show us the light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, the King, Father Almighty, Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. I will bless you day after day, and praise your name forever. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have led to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my Lord, my God. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see life. I extend your mercy to those who know you. Make us worthy, O Lord, to be kept sinless this morning. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise for the and praise is your name forever. Amen. Your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, because we have placed our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, and I can be with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever, despise not the work of your hands. To you is to praise, to you is to honor, to you is glory to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without <coughs> sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant Peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Is, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Is, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Is, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Is, o Lord. For a Christian painless and ashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant his soul. Holy, most 
most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Glory to Lord. We praise you, we sing to you, we bless you, and we thank you, God of our fathers, for you have banished the dark of night and shown us once again the light of day. We beseech you, forgive our sins, and accept our prayer in your great tenderness of heart, because we take refuge in you, the merciful and all-powerful God. Shine in our hearts, your true Son of justice, enlighten our minds, and guard all our senses, so that walking blamelessly in the path of your commandments as in daylight, we may reach eternal life, for in you is the source of life. Make us worthy to enjoy the unapproachable light. For you are our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all, and to your spirit. Now your heads to the Lord. over all creation. To you we bend our neck in spirit and body, and we implore you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive us as a good and loving God, giving us earthly and heavenly gifts. For you have mercy and save us, O our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. All in the laws of the peace, you are ruined in all my soul, and you are revealed to the memory of the enemy of your own sins. But in this privileged time, right in the way in the morning to us with your love we shall exult and rejoice our days give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune show forth your work to your servants who had your glory shine on their children Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. You have holy put on the breastplate of faith, and for honor you have the sign of the cross. You showed yourselves to be great soldiers. You know we resisted tyrants, and you wiped out the lie of the to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Accept the supplication of your servants, O most holy virgin, Theotokos, intercede for us that we may obtain peace, and the forgiveness of our sins. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. To God, the Almighty, and the Lord, 
have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, let us our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and give our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Pray to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. As we stand in the temple of your glory, we consider ourselves and living in heaven. Mother of God, heaven we gate, open to us the doors of your mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 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 Lord, have Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Blessed is Christ our God, the one who is always, now and ever and forever. Amen. King of heaven, support our civil authorities, confirm the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world and safeguard this city. Grant those who have gone before us a dwelling place among the righteous, and accept us in repentance and confession, and have mercy, for you are good and love us all. the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. For honor and God and much and we are compared by glorious and the of Who a virgin gave birth to God the Word, you truly the Theotokos we magnify. In the name of the Lord, King of Father. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and I will check. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins, and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. 
O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me your servant the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to the Lord, and to the Lord, and to the Lord, and to the Lord. May Christ, our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy Father, Nicholas the Wonderworker, Archbishop of Myra, of our holy Father, Cyril and Methodius, apostles of the Slavs and the patrons of this church, of our holy Father, Andrew of Crete, of our venerable Father, Hypatius, Bishop of Gangra, and of our venerable Mother, Mary of Egypt, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. 